Hello and welcome to a new player review. Today we're going to have a look at uh, a flashback SPC that came out, um, I want to say a week ago, maybe more than a week, something like that, uh, which is going to be this guy, Ogbonna, Angelo Ogbonna from uh, West Ham. Um, now I didn't do him uh, and when he came out immediately because uh, first it was too expensive and second I kind of had my doubts uh, about uh, if he was worth completing or not. Um, this SBC is a bit over 400k at the moment, so uh, it's quite some coins to invest into an untradeable SBC. Like I always said, this account is run on no FIFA points at all, um, so everything I earn on this account is done through grinding, rewards and stuff like that. So I have to think twice before I invest I have 400k worth of players into an SBC. Uh, now, I had the first part completed, I think, maybe the first or second day due to some uh, high rate on tradable that I had. And I did the 86, um, fairly easy. And then I had the 285 parts. Also, I had a few, a few of you ask me to uh, review this guy. Um, so, with uh, a couple more untradables I picked up from um, yesterday's rewards, I managed to complete him and add him in the club. Um, I don't also have another good uh, Premier League. Uh, center back. So um, with this uh, foot birthday Pope we also got yesterday and it was very cheap. I thought um, that you know you should complete this anyways with an 84 rated team. It's very cheap to get this guy. Um, I can manage to get him in the team. Also have this untradeable headliner and walker. So why not uh, complete him now and test him? So um, have a look at this guy. Uh, he's an 88 rated flashback player. Uh, up from a 77, um, I want to say non-rare gold, um, he gets a massive, massive boost, uh, about 100 base stats. I mean, only his pace is up to, I don't know, like uh, 22, 23 pace uh, from 50 something, I think, or 60 something. Anyways, he gets a massive boost in pace, uh, in passing and dribbling and defending and physical, everything. Uh, as a massive boost, he gets also over 100 in, uh, 400 in-game stats um, and he gets up there. Now, uh, we had a few um, center back SPCs um, with uh, Aspilicueta, we had um, David Luiz, um, we had uh, Sanchez, uh, there were quite a few. Um, some were expensive, some were cheap, uh, I don't know where this guy um, rates at the moment in between them uh, but the only good available uh, center back in the market right now I want to say it's going to be always Virgil which is going to be um, you know like the number one meta player and uh, between this and his gold card obviously I believe this one is going to be a much better card on the stats of course as we haven't tried him yet the other one is going to be uh, Kante Shapeshifters uh, center back uh, now his stats look very good, but he's very small for a center back and I haven't tried him so I can't really compare him to that. So uh, he's 191, so he's very tall, uh, about 6'3", uh, medium, medium, not the best, uh, not the worst as well. Uh, left footed, two star skill moves and three star weak foot. Uh, we get overall pace 87, uh, we have 79 acceleration to 93 speed for sprint speed, uh, very, very big differential there, 14 points. Um, the acceleration is the one that uh, gives you the initial boost of your player um, that will start running right away. As you can see, this guy needs some time to in order to reach his sprint speed, which is really high. Uh, so we need to uh, up that because 79 is gonna not going to be enough at this stage in the game. Uh, we don't have any shooting at all, even that shot power is no use with low finishing. Uh, long uh, long shots non-existent so uh, don't take a shot uh, obviously with this guy uh, passing overall 77 um, low vision uh, but very good short pass at 90 and long pass at 88 and very low curve so what we're looking at is going to be only direct short pass or long passes uh, dribbling is at 82 agility 73 and balance 72 these are going to be the lowest two stats but for his uh, height uh, his body type uh, I believe is going to be enough. Most of these very tall defenders have uh, 50 or 60 agility and balance, so uh, this is good um, for, like I said, his body type. Uh, reaction is very high at 95. Uh, good ball control, good dribbling, and good composure as well. 
which is going to be very uh, important when he's holding the ball. Uh, defending overall 89 is going to be his st highest stat at 90 interceptions, uh, 85 uh, defensive awareness, 91 standing tackle, 90 slide tackle. So his defending uh, looks exceptional and very high physical at 88 uh, jumping. Stamina 74 is going to be more than enough. Uh, strength 95 and aggression 85. So we're looking at a very tall guy, uh, a bit agile. Um, with good speed, very strong, and good defending. So it looks to, with no traits, obviously, he looks to have everything you need there to have a good, solid defender. Uh, we need to go apply a, to apply a chem style and uh, check out how uh, his stats will change. So uh, initially, the one that I want to put, and I probably am going to put on this guy, is going to be a shadow, because I need that uh, boost and acceleration that plus 15 to go into the 90s obviously will lose out to a few points in sprint speed about uh, four points uh, but it doesn't matter uh, but I want to try him with the anchor first since I have uh, a few and see um, with just 84 acceleration we obviously almost max out sprint speed and uh, we get some points in physical which I don't really think we're gonna need um, we get the distribution and defending, but anyways, I'll try him out um, uh, in a game at least with this anchor so I can have um, something to compare him with uh, when I switch him to a shadow. So as I said, we go to 84 acceleration, 98 trend speed, uh, 95 interceptions, 95 defensive awareness. We max out the tackles and we go jumping 98, strength 99, aggression 95. So. Uh, the uh, anchor looks good, uh, except the acceleration. I wish we had like, I don't know, four or five points more there. And I think it's gonna, it was going to be um, a different story. But nonetheless, it still looks like a good card. So let's go into a few games of uh, Foot Champions and test this card out. Okay, so here we go with our first opponent. Um, nice Prem team and La Liga as well. Uh, very common meta in this game. So for this first game, we're going to go in the 4-2-3-1 formation. We're going to try out the uh, flashback, um, Angelo Gbona in the center back position with the anchor Kempstow. Nice tackle by Gbona. Where is shoot? There's Carrasco. There we go. It's nice, nice marking by Gbona. That's right in the path of the pass. Get him. Nice Agbana. What a tackle there. Get him. No. Agbana. Nice. Get him. Almost there. Almost got him. No. Yes, Agbana. What a tackle. Nice. I didn't make that pass there though. What? Nice Sogbona, very nice. There, shoot. Yes, Bill Robbie. Nice goal. Bring it back. Go, oh, shoot. Oh. And he's gone, so excellent combination. The last goal. Uh, 8.4 for Bona with no contributions uh, forward, obviously, but uh, we have 5 on 5 passes, 5 on 5 dribbles, and 4 on 4 tackles. So we got 100% completion on everything, especially the defending stats, which is 4 on 4, which is great work. He feels uh, much more agile than I uh, was actually expecting. Feels really nice to control in game. Uh, so that was the game with the anchor chem style. I'm gonna go now and apply the shadow and try him uh, with that chem style in the next game. All right, so here's our next opponent. Another, I don't know, why are there so many gold teams and foot champions? I don't understand. Anyways, um, we're gonna go again, the same formation, 4 2 3 one. We're trying out flashback uh, Ogbona in the center back position, but this time we applied the shadow chem style. I'm on Ogbona. We have the speed now, yes, but that wasn't a great tackle there. Shoot, go around me, quick, get it. Nice, Rodrigo on the rebound. Get a bit lucky there. Get it. Nice, Ogbona, very nice. Right. <laughs> nice tackle. 
These are the interceptions are spot on. There it is. Good dribble. One more. Shoot. Yes, what a goal. Hit him. Yes, pure strength. Pure strength. There it is. No. No, no. Nice. There it is. Good turn, Rodrigo. Shoot. No. Oh, he took that extra touch, but still fast enough to shoot. So we go 3 0. Stop, good turn. Nice tackle. Very nice. Good again. Again. And shoot. 4 0. And he's gone. All right, so another quick game uh, with uh, Ogbonna flashback. Uh, very, very good again. He gets 7.9. Um, again, no uh, forward uh, assistance, but we get seven on seven passes, five on six dribbles, and one on two tackles this time. Uh, like I said, I really, really liked him in both games. Uh, he seemed really nice. Uh, so let's go back and uh, have a look at this card. So we have uh, Angelo, Angelo Bona, um, flashback from um, West Ham. Uh, like I said, a very nice upgrade from his base 77, so he gets 11 ratings, but a huge, huge upgrade on his base stats, like 100 base stats um, and over 400 in-game stats. Uh, obviously, he gets a massive boost in pace, uh, passing, dribbling, and all that. Uh, when you read the card, it looks like uh, it's going to be a very solid, very tall defender. He's 6'3", uh, very strong. Uh, that it's going to be sort of a rock and very tough to get through uh, with uh, the minus being uh, one in acceleration where he will take some time in order to start running so you might fall behind when you're chasing down a counter attack um, and you won't be able to keep up uh, and second in dribbling although then it's not that bad but it's a bit low uh, as opposed to other center backs that you might be used to at this stage in the game with 73 agility and 72 balance but it's not uh, what I felt in game. What I felt in game is uh, all of the first uh, few things were there. His strength is amazing. His interceptions are fantastic. Um, the way he puts his, his, his uh, legs there, he's able to win the ball very easy. Um, and his awareness was uh, fantastic as well. Standing and covering the area very well. Uh, standing tackle, amazing. So all his defending stats were, were there with very good aggression to uh, get in there and win the ball. Uh, but I did see that it takes him a few steps in order to see him actually uh, sprinting. Um, so with the shadow in the second game, uh, obviously he feels uh, way, way more responsive initially uh, when you get control of him. Um, he has that uh, first step that is much more faster uh, than with an anchor. So I, I do feel that the shadow is going to be the only chem style that you would need to apply to this guy. As you can see, he goes to 94 acceleration. So what we do want to know, obviously, is, uh, is he worth it? So I'm just going to go come straight out and tell you, I don't think this card is worth uh, putting so many coins or uh, so many value players um, and 400 plus K at this stage in the game to get this card. Uh, like I said, he's a very good center back, but you have other options. Obviously, I think he's better than Virgil. Uh, he's um, a gold card, but uh, I believe his gold card is going to be a bit less uh, than this guy. So um, you're better off using Virgil for now. And when the next promo or team of the season, which should be around the corner, comes out, you're going to get a lot more uh, center backs, better center backs. You're going to get SPCs and you're going to be able to put those cards in and probably get a better center back uh, than this guy. Uh, another center back that I forgot to mention at the start is uh, going to be the future star Tomori, uh, which I think is going to be more expensive uh, than this guy. It should be somewhere around 500k. Um, I don't know if he's better. He might be very similar to uh, this Agbona. So again, if you have the funds available, you're better off going with the tradable off the market, uh, Virgil or Tomori, if you can get them uh, for now and uh, save your untradables or your coins to be put into maybe a next promo or team of the season for a much better center back. Um, like I said, there's, I don't, I didn't find anything wrong with this card, 
but I didn't find anything that was uh, so amazing for me to say that you need to go and do this card and add them to your Prem team. Um, I believe you're better off just uh, passing on this one for now. Uh, he's going to be there until the end of the game, so you're better off passing uh, on this for now and uh, we'll just wait to see what the next promo or what team of the season, which like I said, should be uh, fairly soon, uh, will bring in terms of center back and just make do with uh, any center back that you can get off the market uh, for now. So this is going to be it for this review. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.